Hello everyone and I hope you are having a very happy, crafty and blessed day today. I just finished a birthday card and this birthday card is for a friend. Her name is Marla H. And um, she's having a birthday challenge and I have to hold the card up because I don't know why. Maybe it's because of all the gloominess outside, but the colors are just like way off and the camera's not focusing. So I'm kind of holding up the card. Anyway, Miss Marla likes shabby and vintagey stuff. And she likes the colors pink and teal. And she just likes everything girly. And I, Marla, I have a confession to make. I don't know how to do shabby and I don't know how to do vintage or at least I don't think I do um, if I do something it's certainly not on purpose to be shabby or vintage but I did my best at my attempt at shabby I guess I'm not even sure you know I just do what I do I'm not too sure but this was my attempt at shabby and I hope you like it I do have pinks and teals so and the stamps that I used for your card are, I used this beautiful little birthday Gretel. And this stamp I purchased at the Not Too Shabby Shop, um, uh, which is um, owned by Jamie, Scrampin' Stampers. And this is one of my favorite birthday stamps, um, this little image right here. And I also used my Inkadookadoo birthday stamps. I use this one and I use the ones with the presents and my all-time favorite the one with the little balloons I don't know if you guys remember but I remember once upon a time when kids had birthday parties there would be a clown there making all these little animal balloons um, and I th that's why I picked up this stamp set it's like reminded me of when birthday parties and kids were really <laughs> birthday parties and kids and they learned they knew how to have fun man you don't see anyone making these little um balloons anymore I, I, well i don't see it anymore if they're still doing them but yeah i went down memory lane with these i just love them so let me share with you real quick what i did let me get variety um i basically just took a um a peach uh, cardstock that I had in my stash and I created a six by six card with that. Um, I used all the papers that I used for this card were from the Prima Divine Collection. And that's the background paper here. I also used that paper to create this little banner. I'm sure you guys have all seen the pages with the little triangles. Everybody's fussy cutting them and using them. I also have some little pink and white decorative brads here and here. And to that I tied some pink and white twine that my sweetheart Louise, Mama JT4, sent me. Thank you so much for that twine, Louise. And I made another little baller, banner rather that says celebrate and I stamped that out using my Memento inks. Um, to the little girl, I colored her in using my Pro Markers. And I am not the best colorer in the world. Sorry, guys. I am still very much practicing on the whole shading deal and all that good stuff. But I did try. I have a little bling in her um, bow tie here. And I added some stickles to her wings. And like I said, the lighting here is really bad today, guys, because of the rain. So I do apologize if you're not seeing that. And I also added some stickles to the trim of her outfit. Um, I want you to take a look at these balloons and the candle. I actually used a new product. I bought this months ago with my cousin, Yuka. But I didn't get to use it till now. Um, went to... Um, I don't remember if it was Michaels or AC Moore, but, and I saw this, it's Maj Paj Dimensional Magic. I remember Liz, um, Bidi Bidi Bam Bam talking about this in one of her videos. So I was super excited to try it. Guys, I love it. I love it. Now, my only, um, well, the only thing I want to say 
and it's not negative it's just a bit of caution if you guys do buy it if you want a lot of the glitter that's on the bottom to come up like you see there you're gonna have to leave this upside down for a bit and wait for that glitter to kind of mosey on down to the bottom of the tip because um, see like here I have still lots and lots of glitter caught up in there but sometimes if you don't shake it up and it doesn't move very freely if you don't shake it up and you don't leave the glitter there then it'll just come out clear like glossy accents so if you don't want a lot of glitter then don't don't hold it upside down for a bit but if you want a lot of glitter um, my suggestion is that you leave it like this for a while before using it and then apply it and you will see much more glitter than if you just have it sitting and then you use it but I do love it it dries nicely um, I find that it doesn't have as many um, it's not as thick so you don't have as many bubble problems with those little air bubbles like you do with the glossy access I mean glossy access is still way cool but I just love this stuff so that's my little two cents about that um, to the back of I fussy cut all these presents and decorate them I have flowers and flat back pearls and rhinestones more flat back pearls string pearls a little flower to that I added a piece of lace which I did distress with my um, uh, worn lipstick I have a little flower Martha Stewart border that I made in back of the lace I don't know if you can see it there since she likes pink I also call it the little girl in pink and I have a little pink doggy balloon animal shape here I also added some pink bling to the bottom and I rounded off all the corners using my EK success um, corner punch and then for the inside of the card I have some more of that Martha Stewart border um, flower doily punch I cut apart that mesh bling and just added a little center to each flower. Again, some more presents with a little bow and my little happy belated birthday sign because I know that I will probably, um, she's going away and by the time I mail this to her, it might get there a little late. So I just have that there. Um, this background pattern paper also from the divine collection as well as this paper and i distressed that all with um peacock feathers because i thought it was a little bit more teal than the um, broken china and i just stamped that with my memento ink and i have some more pink bling to the corners and right here and that's it guys so marla i hope you like this card that i'm sending you it was a lot of fun making. Thank you so much for hosting this wonderful challenge. And if you guys want to go over and check out her challenge, click on to the link below. Have a blessed day, everyone, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye for now.